Hi, and welcome. My name is Susan Odell, Managing Partner at RAPA. Thank you for investing time today to view an executive summary of RAPA's ITAM maturity model. Our videos and webinars are based on years of hands-on experience with customers of every size and complexity. They are intended to provide business and technical content that can be applied to your ITAM efforts immediately. This video in particular will review ITAM key success factors and define ITAM maturity stages to help you understand where you are today and what it means to progress in maturity. Before we dive into that content, let me take a couple of minutes to tell you about RAPA. RAPA is an enterprise consultancy dedicated to customer advocacy in ITAM. We are built from the ground up with a singular focus, helping you realize results in what is a complex initiative. We bring knowledge and experience that bridges the gap between executive management's business-driven requirements and the technical reality of implementing ITAM to support those requirements. As a result of the many projects we have delivered to varying sizes of customers with different degrees of complexity, we have seen the spectrum of what ITAM scenarios can uh, present. What this means to you as a RAPA customer is reduced risk in project completion and capital investment. RAPA is focused exclusively on services. We do not resell software, nor do we receive a financial incentive for recommending technology. We work with your preferred Microsoft vendors in their areas of expertise to ensure your ITAM goals are understood and delivered. RAPA is all about you and helping your organization realize results in ITAM. So now that you know a little bit more about who we are, let's move on to the focus of this video, ITAM key success factors and the RAPA ITAM maturity model. IT asset management is much more than an asset repository. It supports strategic IT decision-making by accurately managing financial, contractual, and inventory data of both hardware and software assets. Managing this integrated data across finance, IT operations, and HR silos takes much more than an asset repository. There are five fundamental ITAM success factors. They are not linear. The depth at which each factor plays a role in achieving ITAM results will vary depending upon your stage of ITAM maturity. All five will increase in weight as factors as your level of maturity increases. So let's review the five fundamental ITAM success factors in order of long-term strategic importance. Number one, organizational commitment. Because IT asset management is dependent on cooperation from cross-functional stakeholders and their frontline resources, it will not succeed without executive support as a strategic initiative through executive mandate and ongoing funding. Number two, ITAM requires process, but process does not write, manage, or score itself. People do. People set and enforce policies, processes, and procedures. People manage the related activities, and people are held accountable for results. ITAM cannot succeed without the commitment of your people. Number three, process. ITAM manages integrated finance, contract, and inventory data. Without an enforceable framework, meaning policies, processes, and procedures for collecting, managing, and reporting on that data, there is no assurance of accuracy, and therefore ITAM will fail. Number four, data. ITAM data starts with proof of what you own. Where do you get that data from? What data do you need to track? What if you can't get it? If you're lucky enough to have proof of what you own, how do you know you still have it in your possession? Are you using it as permitted? What is permitted? How are you managing those things you own but can't inventory with technology? The questions are many, and there are many more. ITAM is data heavy, and without a sound data plan, it will not succeed. Number five, technology. Data requires technology to be of any real value. There are many ways to centralize and report on ITAM data. What is appropriate for you is fundamentally tied to your stage of ITAM maturity. If your organization is chaotic, achieving well-managed spreadsheets may be appropriate. 
If processes are defined and enforced and your people are committed, an ITAM COTS repository may be the right investment. Maybe you have made an investment in, a, in an ITAM COTS repository and you're seeking more automation in terms of reporting to your executive management. The appropriate application of technology is a key success factor at every stage of maturity. So now let's take a look at the stages of ITAM maturity in the RAPA ITAM maturity model. RAPA's ITAM maturity model is based on more than 20 years of implementation experience. The content that I'm going to take you through today is an executive summary of the model to help you gain an understanding in terms of where you sit in the maturity model today so that you can set realistic expectations for what can be done now versus future planning. As ITAM matures, it impacts an increasing number of people. Eventually, the impact is so great that it justifies an organizational mandate that receives ongoing strategic commitment. The impact on people is always there, has always been and will always be there. But without process, ITAM activities are ad hoc and extremely costly to the organization. Through the maturing of process, control is gained, risks are reduced and savings are realized. Technology plays a role at every level of ITAM maturity. Whether you are managing spreadsheets or a COTS-based ITAM application, sound process enables technology to take tasks from manual to automated. The organizational commitment to continue to invest in people, process, and technology positively impacts the rate of success and return on ITAM for your organization. So we've actually already touched on four of the five fundamental ITAM success factors, people, process, technology, organizational commitment. The fifth, data, is one of the themes that will run through the rest of the, uh, the slide that we're working on today. ITAM is fundamentally about data, and if data is not accurate, it is of little value. So let's get started with a review of the five stages of ITAM maturity. In the chaotic stage of maturity, there is no control, and therefore, there is no useful data. Strategic decision-making cannot be made proactively at this stage of maturity. As the organization becomes aware that there is a problem, attempts are made to gain control, but these attempts are disparate and therefore incomplete. So again, the data is of little value. The organization will suffer negative consequences of bad data. And as a result of these consequences, the organization will look at uh, defining tighter processes and enforcing those. Central repositories will be established and data becomes more accurate. This has a positive impact on decision-making. Clearly, there is still more work to be done. As a result of comprehensive and enforced policies, processes and procedures, data is now accurate. Executive management increases its funding in, term, in ITAM because it sees the benefits of the investments made to date and focuses on ongoing efforts for continuous improvement. At the highest level of maturity, IT asset management is aligned with the business. There is ongoing commitment to people, process, and technology that supports the reporting of accurate data through automation and therefore supporting the strategic decision-making process. Organizations benefit from COTS-based ITAM solutions if they are entering or are beyond the defined stage of maturity. COTS ITAM tools are not required to realize results in ITAM. Results and return is achievable at every level, and you must achieve the requirements of the preceding stage before you can expect results in the next. RAPA's ITAM maturity model is aligned with Microsoft's software optimization model, and we look forward to speaking with you in more detail about the maturity model as it pertains to your organization. So in summary, it's critically important on an ongoing basis over the long haul 
that you are assessing where your organization is in terms of the ITEM uh, key success factors. You know, it could be that you are um, a fairly mature, your COTS technology has been deployed and you're seeking to increase automation, maybe increase the complexity of your reporting, uh, et cetera. It could be that, you know, you've invested in a COTS solution, but you're having challenges around data. What can you do to improve the quality of your data? If you're more immature, you know, where do you have gaps in process? Are they being enforced? How can you address that from an organizational perspective? And how can you get more people committed to, uh, to this strategic initiative? So ongoing commitment to continuously assess where you are is, is critical. And reality, always be operating from a basis of what is realistically possible, given your organization's ability to invest um, and operationalize uh, this particular uh, practice. Results are possible in any case. And so we need to identify where we can uh, make those results happen for you uh, and your organization. We would love to hear from you. Uh, communication is uh, what we're all about. We uh, hope that this content was helpful. Would love to hear ideas from you in terms of uh, topics for future videos and more specific to your organization, how can we help? So we would look forward to speaking with you directly about the maturity model, where you're sitting, what your goals are, what your problems are that you're trying to solve immediately, and then just keep the dialogue going. Please share the link for this video with your coworkers and colleagues in the, uh, in the industry. And uh, we are on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. My name is Susan Odell, Managing Partner at RAPA. Thanks again. Have a great day.